everyone, it's Isabel Embersquirrel and welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. So today I'm going to be helping Ranger Joyce in Moreland and she's actually right in front of me and we're going to be helping her take some pictures of, I'd have to say, Yeti or Abominable Snowmen. Uh, she has seen some strange sightings around the area, there's caves and stuff, and in the trailer with the magical horses that I did a video of the day before yesterday, um, they showed a little bit of a sneak peek with a cave and a yeti and all that stuff where we had to do a quest with doing something with the yetis, so this is going to be quite interesting, but she has seen some strange sightings around the area, I'm not sure exactly where, could be around Jorvik or could be in the winter village around that area. But we'll have to see. This is just going to be quite interesting because I've never actually had anything. Well, technically, during the winter Christmas time, we've never actually had anything to. Like, we had nothing to have with like yetis. And I think this is kind of like the first time we have like a quest to go do stuff to find yetis because I've never seen any of these before. This could be the first time for me seeing them in the game. So without anything else, let's get straight into this video. Let's talk to Ranger Joyce about these strange sightings. You say you were sent to help me. Hmm. Are you an animal expert? What do you know about arctic foxes? About odd and current occurrence? I hope this is about Yeti. I literally hope this is. We'll have to see because I haven't checked. I think it is, maybe? Here's a question for you if you're such an expert. True or false, in 2019, a female Arctic fox traveled from Norway all the way to Canada through Greenland, Greenland the, and the Arctic Pole in an incredible 76 days. I didn't say I'm an expert. It's true. She averaged 46 kilometers per day with tops of 155 kilometers a day. Uh, okay, here's another question. Wait, what the? Sir, will you please pipe down? I am holding an orientation here. Well, I'm holding a town hall meeting about a very important situation or perhaps you should pipe down. Begging your pardon, sir. But your topic can't possibly be more important than the fact that climate change is wrecking havoc with the habitat of wild animals and certain species are being spotted in the most unlikely places. Oh my heck. That is exactly what I am talking about. So you've heard. Darn tootin'. I was, as I was trying to pontificate when Scott rudely interrupted global warming is affecting many creatures. The Arctic foxes, for example, really shouldn't be all the way in more. However, riders on the Bobcats trail report seeing some of the little fellas. Of course, they could have been mistaken. I'd like you to check it out and get some photographic evidence for me. Okay. Yes, great, but I need to be a little more confident in your knowledge of these animals. There are two color morphs of arctic foxes. Please name them. Oh gosh, okay. Have you seen a, a fox up close? No, heck no, those things are terrifying. Oh, wow. They added, like, a whole additional place. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I think we're going to be heading to that place to check it out. Very big. Very massive. It's like a huge, massive additional area for the winter. Where is it exactly? I see it all on... Okay, so it's, like, right... Oh, I see it now. Oh, my gosh. Wow, it's so big. This is definitely for sure where I feel like we would like meet a yeti, not arctic foxes, like a huge. This is like a big area for a populated a populated area for yetis. Oh wait, there are actually arctic foxes here. I'm actually surprised. Okay. Taking the pictures. So they're all around this area. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing so many caves in here and I'm I don't want to go in. 
Oh, it's just like hollow. Oh, but there are our. Oh my gosh. Thing here. I feel like this is where a Yeti is going to pop up and like scare you out of its cave. Even though like the Arctic foxes are sleeping. I feel like this is where they would pop up and just be like, this is my home get out. I feel like that would be something they would do. And this seems like somewhere where Yeti would be. And I'm surprised that I don't see them because this looks like something they would live in like all the ice uh, going up into like almost like an igloo looking thing, but all covered in ice. Like I'm not seeing any of them. Just seeing like huge holes in mountain of ice and that's all I'm seeing. How many pictures are we supposed to take? I think one we have one more but i've lost count of like i've lost track of how many okay where's the other one i've seen a lot of people go up here yeah so this is the last one are we going to see a yeti is it going to shock us today or are we just going to get nothing and just take the pictures done with it Is that all? Do we just return to Joyce? Wow. I was expecting to see a literal Yeti. Oh, I get it. You're saying you did get some photos. The problem here is I can't submit the camera as evidence now, can I? I need you to print the photos. What do you mean you don't have a printer? Tell you what. Take the camera to Jenna. She is at the paddock. She will print the photos for us. Go over to the paddock to print them. Hmm. Wondering about that. So, wait. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Over here. Hello, Isabel. Are you here to train? No? You need some photos printed for Ranger Joyce? Of course. I'll help with the environmental study she's conducting. Oh, we gotta wait for the photos to print. I'm gonna see what these look like. Do we? Yay! Oh my gosh. Whoa, what you got there? A photo from a broken, uh, broken printer, I think. Yeah. Looks like an Arctic fox to me. Oh. Uh, oh no. Oh, a Yeti! Holy cow, Isabel, this is the best day of my life. We have a Yeti to track. Go show this irrefutable evidence to Ranger Joyce. I'll gather equipment for a tracking expedition. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to show up. I thought it was just going to be a cute picture of the Arctic Fox. And then a giant Yeti shows up on the screen with, like, huge horns and stuff. I wasn't expecting Yetis to look like that your back let me see the photos what do you mean i won't believe my eyes isabel this confirms my worst fears scott was right all along huh what are you talking about look this photo confirms that the arctic fox has strayed from its natural habitat this is terrible what do you mean look I mean look at the yeti okay clearly i don't quiz you thoroughly enough arctic foxes are also known as snow foxes polar foxes or white foxes not yetis what do you mean you aren't joking? You sound like Scott Buttergood. Oh, you already showed him and he believes you? Let me look at that again. Nope, this is a fake. You manipulated the image. You must have caught the Buttergood fever. No, I didn't. Why is she being so stubborn? Great, now I need to find someone else to take a photo for my report. Run along now. Go hang out with Scott. Where? Okay, right here. Unpacking. Look for the seismograph i learned how to build it from a science channel on your tube this will let us know when the science earth starts quaking which happens when the yeti is stomping around yeah you're right we'll probably notice it anyway but hey it's a cool piece of equipment we also need the stinkometer by all accounts the yeti smells worse than a skunk in a garbage pit so when this starts pinging we'll know he's close yeah, I guess we'll probably smell him, but what if we get stu get stuffed up noses? This will come in handy. We can't forget the voice recorder. This is a good one. 
I've captured a few voices on here. Usually they're saying stuff like get out or go away or do you mind, but maybe it'll actually record a ghost voice someday. Oh, collect branches. Oh. Oh. Okay, at least they're sticking up. At least they're sticking up in the snow, so <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. Um, I don't know. I have a bad feeling that this is gonna break. This does not even look like a uh, sturdy, sturdy, sturdy bolt. Bleh. A very sturdy. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, that trap looks strong. I'll put some granola in there as bait. Gosh. Alrighty, the only thing we need to do now is wait. Oh my gosh. Seriously? The timer. The worst thing of all time is the timer. Oh my gosh. I got the timer thing and we can talk to him again, but I cannot get... Okay, we're good. Okay, we are good. We can talk. We can talk to Scott Buttergood now because we waited a while. Holy moly, we fell asleep. Wake up. It's time to face the Yeti. Wait, what? Wait, is he here? Uh, wait, my nose must have done froze up. I don't smell him. I think he's trying to be quiet. That or my ears done froze up too. I'd expect him to be thrashing around in there. This is strange. Go have a peek in the trap, Isabel. Why me? You're good at this stuff. So you say I'm professional, but yet you don't want to do anything? Oh, it's definitely down. It is definitely down. Is there anything? Oh my gosh. Isabel, what are you doing with that arctic fox? Oh man, I'm glad that park ranger isn't here. We'd be in big trouble. Oh no. He set the trap and it's on an arctic fox. Quick, set the little fox free. We need to engage in some more sophisticated tracking techniques to get our yeti. Well, we must now turn to tracking the yeti by a sp What? Spore. Oh. We are looking for any kind of mark or disturbance left by the passing and activity of the Yeti, such as footprints, broken branches, or scat. Makes sense. Yep, Yeti poop. I think I see some over there. When tracking animals, the details to look at are size, shape, location, and content. Please go analyze that bit over there. Sure thing, I love animal tracking. <laughs> go on. Where is it now? Oh, right. Wait, what? What is that? Analyze the snow pile. Oh, right there. What? <laughs> wow. Um, are we sure those aren't just snowballs or something? Because those definitely look like snowballs. Yeah, it's just a... Yeah, it just looked like snowballs. I think it's time to break out my elite equipment. Okie dokie, Isabel. I have another piece of tactical gear to try. Check it out. Thermal goggles. Far superior to night vision goggles in that you can see use them in them day and night. Of course, thermal goggles cost quite a bit, that, which is why I crafted these beauties myself. Where are we going? Uh, over in this area. Okay. Close to up on the hill so wait do we have the thermal goggles in anywhere do we just bring them out whenever we uh use oh my gosh are we looking at what what are we even looking at planted snow we need to get lucky and just look at all of them all at once without clicking any of them and just like choose the best one to get it over quickly because this definitely does take a while. Plain old snow. Uh, I can't tell. Hold on. What is that? What? Oh! I, oh my gosh. I was like, I got confused there. Not picking up any action. Oh! <gasps> Um, is it a goat or is it ice skating? Um, uh, I, um, 
Okay, um, I literally thought I was going to be taller than that. Are we sure this is the Yeti? Because it is very small. It just... Are you serious? What is going on right now? Oh my gosh! Are we sh There is def- There is a big definite chance that a, a yeti is in the area. Um, if he's just walking around close to Silverglade Village, um, are yetis a threat? Um, to the people? Because, I mean, it's a very small one. The one I took a picture of was definitely a very big giant version. So I'm hoping it's not a threat to the people, because who knows? Oh, we got another thermal. Can we see the Yeti from here? Because we need to. The Yeti is. Um, we need to get rid of the Yeti. What a beautiful view. I can't agree with that, but we need to find the Yeti fast because I have seen it walking around without the thermal. So we'll use the other thermal glasses up here. Here. See if we can catch a view of the Yeti. Oh my gosh, we can. We can. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did. Man, I was not expecting that. Okay, that is a definite. I was not expecting to have a jump scare like that. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that did- That scared the living daylights out of me for sure. Oh, my gosh. I was just expect expecting to see, like, walking around the area. Like, just walking around back at that area. I wasn't expecting it to, like, jump out in front of me and scare me half to death literally scared me so much my heart at that moment was just like da 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 beating every oh my god oh okay oh i cannot get that thing out of my head now that yeti is definitely here came very close with it and i was definitely right about that miniatures that still definitely can um still could do stuff you saw the yeti where it's a pity you scared him so bad he ran away. Uh, no. He scared me. And I ran away. What do you mean you don't think that's what happened? Hmm. Anywho, we've come too far to quit now. Oh, dang. I have some chores to do. Tell you what. I'll get a message to you when I'm available to go back on the trail. Sound good? Yes. I need some time to think of what happened. And... Take a break from the Yeti. For sure. The story will continue update next week. Good. We take a week to take a... Oh my gosh. Wow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also follow me on Instagram at Isabel Embuscroll and I will see you in my next video. Bye!